In this tutorial, I'm going to show you several tricks that you can use to make the skin on a subject in your photograph look flawless. The first step I'm going to show you is how to remove blemishes. And to do that, let's zoom up on our image to get a better look. And if you hold down the spacebar, it'll turn any tool into the move tool so you can move around the image. And let's duplicate our layer by grabbing the background layer and dragging it to the new layer icon. This will allow us to work on a duplicate as opposed to original. We can always go back. And the first tool I'm going to show you is the clone tool, which is in the toolbar over here. Looks like a little stamp. And keyboard shortcut for that is S. So we choose that. And what this does is it actually allows you to clone a part of the image and use it somewhere else within the image. What we want to check up here is there's two options. You can either use aligned at the top of the toolbar or unaligned. And the difference between those are this. To use this tool, you have to sample an area on the subject. And to do that, you hold down Alter Option and it turns into a crosshair. And then you click once and that selects that part of the image. Now when you have a line check, if you go down to this part of the image and click and hold and start to paint, you can see crosshairs starting to form around the eye. And that's basically showing you that you are painting that part of the image onto the other part of the image. And since a line is checked, if you let go of the mouse button and then move over here and start to paint, that crosshair moves with it. It's always a fixed position away from where you're painting. So no matter when you let go and you start to click again, it will always align itself. So now it's up in the hair, and if I go down, you can see it now on the forehead. It's always going to be that distance away and paint that part of the image. So let's undo that. And let me show you what happens when you don't use aligned. If you uncheck aligned, and we sample the eye by using the Alter Option key and clicking, and we start to paint down here, it will paint the eye. And if we let go, and we start to paint over here, it will paint the eye again. Basically, you have sampled that area, and it's always going to paint that, the reference point of where you sampled. So let's undo that. And I generally tend to work with the aligned box unchecked so that I can manipulate the images more closely to where I'm at. I like to know where I sampled and where it's going to go. So what we can do with this tool is we can hold down Alter Option and get close to a blemish like this little mole here and get close to it and hold Alter Option and click once and we've now sampled that area and if you click over top of the blemish it's now gone. We've sampled an area that's similar and it will fade in to the other part of the image. And because it was so flawless it's because we go up to the brush tool and we make sure that the hardness is set to zero and that will allow it to fade into the other parts of the image. Let's do that on another part of the image. Let's see this little mole down here and let's sample right next to it and click once and now it's gone. The next tool I'm about to show you is over here in the toolbar. It's called the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Looks like a band-aid. And this works kind of like the clone tool but you don't have to sample. If you just find an area like this blemish up here, this discoloration, and you just click once on top of it, it samples around that part and blends it in. So that's a very effective tool that you can use but sometimes you get weird results and it might not blend as well so if it happens that way just click over it one more time until it starts to look good or you can always undo and try it again so let's find another area of imperfection and let's try this tool I'll zoom in a little bit and there's a little bit of freckles over here and let's try that again just click once samples the rest of the area and now it looks like they weren't even there we'll try this area right here on the cheekbone slight imperfection click once and you wouldn't even know it was there now, another tool I'd like to show you is within the same tool set. It's called the Patch Tool. And the Patch Tool allows you to actually draw a selection and then sample another part of the image to blend it in. And this is very effective for using underneath of the eyelids to get rid of bags under eyes. So if you click and then start to drag, you are now drawing a selection with this tool. And no matter where you're at, when you let go, it will make the selection for you. And what you do with this tool is you actually then have to click and hold within the selection and then drag to another part of the face that's similar in texture and color and let go and it automatically 
we'll blend those areas together by taking a sample. So if we uncheck the top layer, we can see the before with the bag under the eye and the after, how it's smooth. If we go over to the left eye and do that again, if we click and drag around the bag in the eye, let go, makes a selection. We can then click and just for fun, let's drag into the eye and let go. See how it sampled the eye and now put it down here? Let's undo that. And we can click in and drag down to the cheek, which is similar in texture and color, and let go. And if we deselect with Command or Control D, we can see that now that's blended into the eye and we've reduced those bags under the eye. Here's the before, here's the after. You can sometimes use this to get rid of wrinkles. So if we go down here to the bottom of the neck and highlight and drag around, and we find an area that's similar in color, maybe this part of the cheek, and let go, and then deselect, we can see that that's now gone. You could also have used the clone tool or the healing brush to try that as well. But just use a different technique. If you don't get the right thing you need, just use one of those other tools. So we've now shown you how to get rid of imperfections and really clean up the look on a subject's face. Now the real magic begins when we start to smooth out the skin and get rid of all the imperfections like the little details within. And to do that, what we need to do is we need to go up to Filter, Blur, and choose Surface Blur. Surface Blur will blur the surface of this image in a nice way that will allow us to make the skin look very smooth. You have two options, the radius and the threshold. The radius basically just shows you how, mu how many pixels are being affected by this tool. So if we raise it, 38 pixels are being affected and really smooth. And then we have the threshold, which lets us know what part of the image is going to affect. So if we drag it all the way up, it's going to affect everything. And it's based on contrast. If we drag it all the way down, nothing's going to be affected. So it looks for areas of contrast and that's what determines where the radius is going to be affected. So generally I keep these pretty low. I'll take the radius down to about 4 or 5 and then I'll play with the threshold a little bit. Start out low and start to bring it up just to where it starts to smooth out that skin. I don't want it to look too fake. So if I do about 4 and 13 maybe 15, let's try 15. We now can see that that image is starting to smooth out and you can see it in the preview too. So if you click and drag, 